students welcome to ims gate academy my name is vipin mishra i am the lead mentor at ims gate academy and i welcome you all in this video where i am going to reveal the best strategy through which you can surely get an under 100 rank in gate exam now as the exam form is out and the dates are also announced there is a clock pinging every time on your head isn't it the exam is inching closer and closer day by day so now you must be wondering that what you should do right now so that your dream can come true so in this video, I'm going to reveal that what you should exactly do. First of all, my dear friends, you have to believe on yourself, isn't it? You have to believe on yourself that you can also score an under 100 rank so that all the positivity will surround you. You are preparing very well for the gate exam, isn't it? You have covered all the subjects or you are going to cover all the subject within few months. You are going to revise them properly or you have, you have solved all those PYQs some uh, good quality question you have practiced so you have done all the hard work you have to believe your you on yourself as well that you can be the one who can get an under 100 rank once you will start believing the things will start happening as well and you know why i am very sure that once you will believe on this dream once you will start working on this dream then definitely this dream will also come true the reason is if suppose you are from electrical stream then just see these are the subject total 10 subjects are there okay and if I talk about only general aptitude, engineering, mathematics, network, signal and control, this group contains 52 marks and the technical subject group, power electronics, power system, electrical machine, this group contains 31 marks. If suppose you have prepared this group very well, just see 83 marks of the paper is on under your hold. Okay. So if you will be able to do well in that, surely you can get a, a good marks in gate exam. How many marks you should have to get if you are from electrical? to score a good rank under 100 rank so you know in 2024 the topper only got 77 marks in 2023 the topper only got 67 marks now you can think that how many marks you have to score isn't it and it's very much possible that's why i said that you have to believe over yourself if you are from ec total nine subjects are there isn't it and again see this group the top five subject group contains 52 marks and this core subject group digital communication analog this contains 30 marks so together they carry 82 marks so if you have prepared this section very well these two sections very well you can make your dream come true isn't it that's why i'm saying it is very much possible if you are from in again the top six subjects general aptitude engineering mathematics network signal control digital analog they carry 71 marks and there are very less audience as well in in stream so if you'll be able to score some 50 marks you were you are surely going to get a very good rank okay then if suppose you are from mechanical then just see top six subjects general aptitude engineering mathematics thermodynamics mechanics of material manufacturing theory of machine they carry 64 marks so if we, you will be able to prepare them well you'll be able to good do uh, well in that surely you will be getting a good rank then if you are from civil then just see top six subjects again general aptitude engineering mathematics geotech environment transportation fluid mechanics they carry 60 marks so if you have prepared them really well okay apart from that you will prepare all other subject as well but just see these the, just focus on these subjects very well if you will be you will be able to do well in these subjects surely you will be able to uh, make your dream come true similarly if you are from cs have a look general aptitude c and data structure database management theo, toc operating system digital logic they carry 55 marks okay so your success somehow depends upon how well you are performing in these subjects as well. You will be preparing other subjects as well. But if you will perform very good in these subjects, surely your chances of getting a good rank will definitely come true. So why why I'm showing you this syllabus? Because I'm just I just want to uh, make you see here that just see by preparing only five six subjects with good amount of quality, guys, you are you you are almost over to 50 plus marks of the paper isn't it so you have to believe on yourself okay that it's very much possible once you will start believing on yourself things will definitely come on your side okay now i'm talking about subjects okay so my first question will be or everybody has one question in uh, in their mind or this can be the part of overall strategy so first question is that when i should finish my syllabus okay so if I talk about the overall strategy that you should be having when you have started uh, preparing for the gate exam, you should ask yourself that when is the ideal time when I should finish my syllabus. 
सो गाइज इफ सपोज यू विल बी एबल टू फिनिश योर सिलेबस टिल द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर ओके If you have started from May or June, or if suppose you have started from June or July, still if you will be able to finish your syllabus in the month of November, then it will be very good because you have almost finished your syllabus on time. So that remaining time you can give to better revision. You can dedicate to mock test. Okay. So when I should finish my syllabus, October or November, your syllabus should be finished. If you have started very late at the July or even August. you know then then also maximum time should be december after december you should be engaged only in revision not on completing the subject okay so this is first question that should be very clear in your mind then the another question is that when i should start my revision so if you have finished your syllabus in the month of october you can start revision from november onward if you have finished your syllabus on november you can start uh, revising your syllabus from december onward you know revision plays a very vital role in every preparation no preparation is complete without revision the reason is when you complete the subject for the first time you get 60% hold on the subject when you will revise the subject for the second time you will get some 70 to 80% hold on the subject when you will revise the subject for the third time then you can understand that i have right now achieved an excellence on this subject so at least three times we should do full throttle revision because that revision uh, will give us more and more depth in the subject will be more and more confident okay that's why revision is also very important and to do that you should have ample amount of time that's why you should finish your syllabus till october or november so that you can dedicate at least 75 to 100 days for revision only and the better as better revision you will do it will guarantee your success in the exam as well okay now another important question is that how one should prepare a subject okay so i hope that you are all you have already started your preparation you are preparing from may june or july onwards okay or if suppose you have still started still the gate is very much possible so how one should prepare one subject okay so just see it is it's a three step process if you are already following this excellence excellent if suppose you are not following this try to follow this strategy this will definitely give you some good result so how to prepare any subject you should follow three step process step number 1 understanding the syllabus understand your syllabus what i have shown you just now identify the good weightage subject uh, subject those are having very high weightage okay so identify understand the syllabus identify the high weightage subject and eliminate those parts which are not necessary as per the gate exam you have to be very, very much restricted towards the syllabus okay because gate has a vast syllabus so you should not be covering unnecessary things then prepare good quality notes in such a way that every topic is being followed by the pyqs related to that particular topic if it has been asked in the exam and surely every topic has contributed one pyq so if you will prepare notes accordingly that every topic is followed by pyq this part will be done okay so this is one time effort that will take time but you have to invest time here because if you will invest time here next step and the revision will be very easy for you then step number 2 you are uh, make uh, you are preparing pyq you are preparing notes topic wise okay and every topic is being followed by pyqs in that practice do not leave any pyq from last 15 years okay you have to practice all the pyqs that has been part of the gate but if suppose the time is not permitting you to uh, just practice all the pyqs then at least practice from 2010 to 24 do not leave any pyq of this domain because what we have seen what we are observing right now that many a times the concept related to the pyqs that has been already asked in the gate exam the gate authorities are already repeating them okay so in that way if you have practiced pyqs those are really going to help you scoring more marks okay then try to practice some unseen questions as well okay pyqs are relevant question but try to practice some unseen question as well okay so that will increase your horizon of aptitude related to the subject okay you in that way you will be very well prepared then step number 3 once you have prepared any subject then give subject test okay give a subject test if suppose the subject test is of 50 marks then if suppose you are scoring 30 plus marks when you have first prepared the subject for the first time then you can understand that your preparation is good if you are scoring 35 out of 50 means 70% mark 
you can understand your preparation is very good. If you are scoring 40 plus means 80 percent marks, then you can understand that you have received excellence in this subject. Okay, but whatever you are scoring, it is very important to give the subject test because in that way you will be able to analyze your depth in the subject. Okay, you'll be able to analyze your silly mistake. You'll be able to do uh, exercise the time management. Okay, so what you have to do? Give the subject test. Okay, if suppose you are scoring good, it's very good. If suppose you are not scoring good, then you have to do the analysis. You have to take a feedback. You have to prepare a report of yourself, how you have performed in this particular test. Okay, so when you'll do the analysis, when you'll prepare a feedback report, to, in that what you have to do that. You have to analyze every question wise that what was the approach required and what I have done. Okay, what are the silly mistakes, calculation mistakes that I'm doing? If you will do that analysis, there are very rare chances that you will commit this mistake in the final paper. And that's how you'll be building your aptitude and gate is nothing but aptitude test of engineering. Okay, so giving test and preparing a feedback report is very important. Once you have done all these steps, just fold your notes, keep the report with the notes and keep them aside. Now focus on another subject. Apply these steps on the other subjects as well. In this way, try to complete all the subject within that window of October or November. Okay, because if you'll be able to finish your syllabus early, you'll be able to dedicate more time to revision, which is going to be very, very important. Okay. Now in the next part, I'm going to uh, discuss that how to do the revision, how one should revise the subject. Okay. So again, I have divided revision into three parts, revision one, revision two, and quick revision. Okay. So guys, once you have finished the subject, you have prepared a feedback report. What you have to do during, during the revision, revisit the subject and important concept. Okay. And try to attempt the test again. Okay. Try to attempt a test this time as well. Okay. And do the same thing. Analyze and prepare a feedback report of yourself. Okay. In the revision number one. So whatever feedback you have received from uh, once you have completed the subject, try to work upon those feedbacks here, okay? And revisit the subject, revise it. Surely it is going to take less time as compared to the first time, okay? Then just give a, a test again, and it should be an advanced test, and just cross check how much improvement is there from base uh, subject test to advanced subject test. If you are improving or if you are constant, it's very good, okay? Analysis and feedback report again should be taken. Okay, then comes the revision two. Once you are done with revision one, again fold your notes, keep them aside, focus on another subject. Then after some day, again pick the subject and do the revision two. Now this time, obviously, it will take less time. Suppose once you are finishing any subject, if suppose it has taken 15 days, then obviously revision one could be done in seven to eight days. Revision two can be done into three to four days. So in revision two, revisit the subject work on the feedbacks that you have received while the test and advanced test and work upon them try to avoid the mistake try to uh, work on the weak areas okay and try to manage all the problems that you have faced earlier and also revisit all pyqs once again because ultimately pyqs are very very important okay so this is what you should done you should do in revision number two okay and just see the time is being reducing first time completing the subject almost 15 days First time doing revision, seven to eight days. Second time revision, three to four days. And then comes the quick revision. That you should be definitely doing in the month of December, January, December end or January. So during revision, what you have to do? Now pick a subject and try to revise it within a day. Okay, within a day. So every steam has almost 10 to 12 subjects. So revise all those subjects within 10 days because some subjects are having less weightage and less syllabus. So they can be uh, revised within a day okay, or within within few hours. So one subject in a day, try to revise, then uh, revise the complete syllabus. Full revision should be done within 10 days. After once you have completed the full uh, revision, try to attempt one mock test or even two mock tests. One you can give on the uh, morning and one you can give at the evening time. So try to revise the complete syllabus within 10 days and attempt mock test and see your progress. See yourself where you are lying right now. If you are performing well in mock test or if suppose you are continuously improving, defin definitely the result will be seen in the final exam as well. Okay. Now this step you have to repeat again, again and again. Every 10 days just do full time revision, give two mock tests, 
then again uh, work upon the feedback in next 10 days again do the revision quick revision and give the mock test again do the quick revision give the mock test so in january and february you will you'll almost be having 30 30 or 45 days because some people might be having exam on first or second of feb and some might be having on 14th and 15th feb so accordingly you will be getting 30 35 45 days so keep on repeating this step okay and at least give six mock tests before the exam so that will adjust your bio cycle that will adjust your temperament that will give you a feedback that what are the silly mistakes you are doing calculation mistakes you are doing that will tell you that what are your negative points and positive points so guys once you will know all those problems or positive or negative areas you will work upon them and you can ensure that you will definitely do well in the upcoming exam okay so this is how you should do revision okay so when should we finish our syllabus when we should do start doing the revision how to prepare a subject how to do the revision we discuss everything okay if you are exactly following all those things it's fantastic you are doing a good job if suppose still you are stuck that what i should do you can adopt this strategy and this is definitely going to work okay now after that i would like to give you some important message zero distraction okay Tr guys set some monthly target for yourself that in this month i will be doing that I will be preparing these two subjects or even suppose you are passed out a student you can do even three subjects in a month then decide some time slots in that time slot there should not be any distraction allowed okay in that time slot you should only be doing the preparation rest time apart from uh, the study you can do everything you have to play okay the games you have to spend time with your family do everything but the time slot that you have allotted no distractions are allowed in that particular time zone okay pinpoint focus is needed and after that just see relax mind have more efficiency gate is nothing but just an exam it's an aptitude test of engineering and that aptitude because you are preparing from last five, five six months okay so guys that aptitude you are building in yourself by giving many number of tests by practicing more and more questions so why to worry when the time will come definitely it will be reflected okay so gate is just an exam don't worry avoid taking unnecessary or extra stresses okay seven eight hours of sound sleep you should take okay because if you will sleep properly okay then you will definitely work efficiently practice yoga or meditation that will also help in reducing the stress stress you don't have to take okay you know you have to enjoy your preparation journey that is very very important okay gate is just an exam you are working for that so definitely the result will be on your side it will definitely be on your side so be relaxed with a cool mind just keep on doing the preparation and enjoy the preparation journey this is very very important okay so with this message this is what i want to wanted to share with you i hope that if you'll follow this this will definitely help you okay and guys if you have not subscribed our channel if you are new to our channel subscribe it like this session share it with your friends so that maximum people will be benefited and join our telegram channel so that you will keep on getting informations like this okay and you know i will be i was talking about test test and test okay so what you can do you can join IMS Gate Academy Test Series Plus course in which you will get 130 plus online test series, 33 years of Gate PYQ booklet we are also giving, so PYQs you can practice from there, okay. Then we are also giving you doubt solving portal access, okay. We are also giving you online revision and score booster series, post gate guidance series and PSU and uh, PSU and MS mock interview test series, uh, interview preparation skills will, will be providing you in this reasonable price of 300 and 3299 okay so you know we discussed that how important it is uh, to do quick revision to uh, just have the uh, uh, pyqs practice practice of pyqs isn't it how important it is to appear into the test so from where you will be getting all those things okay subject test advanced subject as i was talking about so guys buy this product of ims gate academy from here you will get that subject test advanced subject test multi subject test and mock test series as well okay and that pyq booklet we are also giving so you can prepare pyqs as well 
complete product will be getting in this reasonable price okay so this is a must to buy product for you okay so just see these are the features that we are giving okay and uh, you can avail all these feature features in this price and without some features you can also avail this in this reasonable price of 1770 okay and if you are really liking the teaching and learning methodologies of IMS gate academy guys I will really advise you to join our live online program okay in which we are giving 800 plus live hours of interaction we are giving you theory book exercise book that contain 4000 plus questions so I was talking about that you should prepare some unseen quality question that you will get from our exercise book okay gate PYQ booklet we are also giving that contain 34 years of questions okay 12 personalized mentorship session and online test series also we are giving okay so you can strategize your preparation you can prepare really well with us okay so uh, don't waste your time book a free counseling session with IMS gate academy and join IMS gate academy for better preparation of gate exam okay with this message I wish you all the best for your uh, future endeavors okay if you are preparing really well keep on preparing well and if you haven't started start because still so much time is there and if suppose you are lacking some strategy this video will definitely work with you so with this message i would like to thank you all for watching this video thank you